Hello friends, I am Muhammad Afifuddin. In this video, we will see the second type of problem that is to determine the stresses developed in concrete and steel. In this type of problem, the sum data is given. The number one is dimensions will be given in the form of width and depth of the section. Number two, they will give area of steel reinforcement intention that is ASC. Number three, they will give the material grade that is grade of concrete and grade of steel. Next, they will give external load or directly they will give bending moment. Okay. So here is the procedure to determine the stresses developed in steel and concrete. Okay, the first step is same that is to calculate or to find out the values of permissible stresses in concrete and steel that is sigma cbc and sigma st we can get this value from table number 21 and table number 22 of is 456 2000 okay second step is to calculate modular ratio m the formula will be same m is equal to 280 divided by 3 into sigma cbc Next step is to determine actual neutral axis N. Okay. Here is the equation is given, and from this equation we can calculate the value of N that is the actual neutral axis. Next, we have to calculate maximum bending moment M due to the load. Okay, if it is not given in the problem, we have to calculate maximum bending moment. After that, we will calculate sigma st that is stresses developed in steel by equating maximum bending moment and moment of resistance. From this equation, we will get the value of sigma st and then from this value of sigma st, we will calculate sigma c that is stresses developed in concrete by this equation. Okay. So here we will see one problem. Here is a problem statement. An RCC beam 400 by 600 mm effective is reinforced with 4 bars of 25 mm diameter. The beam is subjected to a bending moment of 150 kN m. Find the stresses set up in steel and concrete if m is equal to 13.33. Okay. Here the width of beam is given as 400 mm and effective depth is given as 600 mm and the beam is reinforced with 4 bars of 25 mm diameter and here the maximum bending moment is already given as 150 kN and also they have given the modular ratio 13.33 ok so here is our solution strategy firstly we will calculate the modular ratio m but in this problem the modular ratio is already given so we will take that value as it is next we will determine the actual neutral axis then we will calculate the maximum bending moment but in this pro uh, problem the value of maximum bending moment is already given so we will take it as it is then we will calculate sigma st by equating maximum bending moment and moment of resistance and from that value we will calculate sigma c that is stresses developed in concrete so in problem the width is given as 400 mm effective depth 600 mm and 4 bars of 25 mm diameters are given therefore we can calculate the area of steel that is 4 into pi by 4 into 25 square and we will get the answer ASC is equal to 1963.49 mm square ok modular ratio is already given m is equal to 13.33 maximum bending moment is also given that is 150 kN m which is equal to 150 into 10 to 6 Newton mm now we will calculate actual neutral axis n from this equation the equation is b into n square divided by 2 is equal to m into asc into d minus n 
okay then we know the value of b that is the width of section is 400 mm m the modular ratio is equal to 13.33 asc which is equal to 1963.49 mm square which we have calculated earlier and effective depth of section is 600 mm so by putting this value we will get the answer n is equal to 222.32 mm okay that is the depth of axial neutral axis now we will calculate the stresses developed in steel for that purpose we have to find out moment of resistance first we have the formula for moment of resistance mr is equal to sigma st into ast into d minus n by 3 okay here we will take sigma st unknown and putting all the other values we will get answer mr is equal to 1.03 into 10 raised to 6 into sigma st newton mm okay now this value of mr we will equate with maximum bending moment which is given as 150 kN meter okay now equating mr and m that is moment of resistance with the maximum bending moment so here 1.03 into 10 to 6 into sigma st is equal to 150 into 10 to 6 so from calculating this we will get the answer sigma st is equal to 145.36 newton per mm square and that is the stress developed in steel okay now a last step that is to find out the stress in concrete that is sigma c so we have the equation m into sigma c divided by sigma st is equal to n divided by d minus n okay we have the modular ratio 13.33 sigma c we have to find out sigma st we have calculated earlier that gives our gives the value of 145.36 and which is the depth of actual neutral axis which we have calculated as 222.32 mm and effective depth is given that is 600 by calculating this equation we will get the answer stress in concrete that is sigma c is equal to 6.42 newton per mm square here we have completed our first problem of type 2 now we will move to the second problem of same type okay so the problem statement is an rcc beam 300 by 500 mm effective is reinforced with four bars of 16 mm diameter the beam is subjected to a bending moment of 50 kN meter find the stresses induced in the top compression fiber of concrete and initial steel consider m20 concrete here the grade of concrete is given so from that grade we have to find out sigma cbc and from sigma cbc we have to find out the modular ratio okay so here is our solution strategy firstly we have to calculate modular ratio then we will calculate axial neutral axis n then after that we will calculate maximum bending moment but in this case the maximum bending moment is already given okay then we will calculate sigma st by equating bending moment and moment of resistance and from that sigma st value we will calculate sigma c that is the stresses developed in concrete okay here is the given data A small b that is the width of section is given as 300 mm effective depth 500 mm four bars of 16 mm diameter are given here therefore area of steel is equal to 4 into pi by 4 into 16 square 16 is the diameter of the bar so from that we got the value of area of steel is equal to 804 mm square from table number 21 of is 456 2000 and for m20 grade of concrete the value of sigma cbc is 7 newton per mm square okay then modular ratio we have the formula m is equal to 280 divided by 3 into sigma cbc that is equal to 280 divided by 3 into 7 we got the answer m is equal to 13.33 
the next step to find out maximum bending moment which is given already in this statement that is 50 kilo newton meter which is equal to 50 into 10 to 6 newton mm now moving to our third step actual neutral axis to calculate actual neutral axis we have to equate this equation that is v into n square divided by 2 is equal to m into ast in bracket d minus n we have the value for b which is equal to 300 mm m that we have calculated earlier as 13.33 ast is also calculated here that is 804 mm square effective depth is given in the problem and from that we have find out the value of n here and the value of n the value of actual neutral axis here is 156.6 mm so now our next step is to find out the stresses develop in steel and for that purpose we have to find out the moment of resistance by putting sigma st unknown we have the formula mr is equal to sigma st into ast into d minus n by 3 now putting sigma st as unknown and after calculating this value we got the answer mr is equal to 0 0.36 into 10 s to 6 into sigma st newton mm and this value we will equate with the maximum bending moment which is given as 50 into 10 s to 6 newton mm by equating mr and m we will get the value of sigma st as 138.87 newton per mm square and final step of this problem is to find out the stresses in concrete that is sigma c and from the equation m into sigma c divided by sigma st which is equal to n divided by t minus n and we will put these values that is m is equal to 13.33 sigma st is 138.87 small d that is the effective depth is 500 mm n which is the actual depth of neutral axis is 156.6 mm and from that we will calculate the sigma c value and we got the answer stress in concrete that is sigma c is equal to 4.75 newton per mm square okay so with this video we have completed our type 2 problem that is to determine the stresses developed in concrete and steel Thank you.